this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal. And today we're gonna to use these really pretty fall napkins to cover this wine bottle. We're gonna modge podge the napkins onto the wine bottle and that will give a nice decorative piece for fall. So let's get started. A few weeks ago I did a haul video and I had stopped by the grocery store and saw these napkins on sale for one dollar and these are uh, 16 napkins in a pack and uh, they come kind of wrapped up smaller but when you pull it out it looks like this so for this size bottle we're going to probably need at least two of the napkins I'm also going to be using some jute twine on this project and um, I think that'll make our bottle look quite lovely. You're going to need some Mod Podge and I like to use a foam brush. You might also need a scissor depending on how uh, big your bottle is and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the napkin on the opposite side and I figured it'd be easier to just apply the Mod Podge and then roll the bottle onto it. So I'm just kind of lining this up just a little bit um, so it's right at the edge. And so I'm going to put some Mod Podge on and it's not going to be a big layer of Mod Podge. Just a little bit. And I'm not going all the way up to the top. I'm actually just going where it curves just a little bit. I'm just going to start right here just to get that first part onto my bottle. And I'm kind of being very gentle with it. Of course, this can rip pretty easily. And so it's already started going on. So I figure it'd be easier to get that first bit on and then I can actually start applying it to the other parts of my bottle. So I had, I had never um, done this type of thing where I use a napkin to actually do Mod Podge, but I saw several of them on Pinterest. And when I saw these napkins in the store, I thought it would be a really fun craft idea. So hopefully some of you will be inspired by this. I'm just going to gently roll it and I'm just staying along the bottom there and if I go over I could always cut it off. Okay, So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of stand this up because I'm noticing if I leave it flat on the table and it's not dry it's going to rip my napkin. And I'm just smoothing it out a little bit here. And I'm using just a thin layer of Mod Podge. I don't want to oversaturate it. So I'm kind of working in sections. I think this just works out best for me. And then I'm just kind of folding it over. Use my hand to fold it over. I really like the colors in this napkin. And it, it actually sticks immediately. So I'm just coming right up to that section there. Rolling it over. And all, I already knew I would need to uh, cut another napkin because this bottle was too big. So you just have to kind of see how big your bottle is and use as many napkins as you need to cover it. And I'm not going to worry about this right now. I'm going to go back and do something with that. Okay, so I'm going to leave my bottle like this for now and I'm going to cut another piece off. So I could cover the rest. 
and it's okay if it's not exactly the same size as that. more and since I'm going to overlap I'm just putting a little bit on top of the edge there and add my other piece here I want to make sure I can see it without laying it down I'm just going to cover it a little bit there and I'm just using my hand to just gently smooth it on coming right down to the edge this little piece is sticking up I'm just going to add some there and I'm going to go back and uh, add some more Mod Podge on top of this And look how cute that already looks. And I'm just going to let this dry for a little bit. And then we're going to come back and put on another coat. Okay, so now that my first layer is dry, I'm going to just cut this off just because I don't want it to overlap. I'm just doing this as gently as possible because the paper is so delicate. And then since I want this to really stick on there, I'm just going to fold it all over. Now I am going to, I'm still not going to worry about this yet. What I am going to do is add some Mod Podge right around this top part here. And kind of stick that down. And we're going to go back and cover that up. And I'm just being very gentle with this paper. Any other parts that are sticking up, you're going to be able to lay down once I put the coat on top. I'm just using my fingers just because it works a little bit better for right now without using the brush. Okay, and that's starting to come along there. Okay, so now I'm going to just go ahead over it with my Mod Podge. I'm going to try to do this in one direction. And I don't really have to worry about the fact that it looks cloudy right now because this will dry clear. It's got a, got a little bit of a, a wrinkly look to it, but I kind of like that. Just try to avoid 
getting any on your fingers, like especially if you're holding on to it. And since the paper is so delicate, I don't want to really do too much until I get that protective coat over it and it dries. So I'm being very careful right now and hold it like this. It almost looks like crinkled leaves. This will look nice in a fireplace mantle or maybe a centerpiece. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and let that dry. It looks kind of cloudy right now, but we're going to go ahead and let that dry. Okay, so now that my Mod Podge is dry, um, it's got a nice little texture to it. Uh, it dried a little bit more crinkly than I expected, but I still like it. And so what I'm going to do with this little top piece, I thought it would be nice to use this kind of greenish. It's like a green color jute twine and so I'm going to use that right around the top and I could just use my Mod Podge to actually do that. So I'm going to start right at the very top and I thought that would be a nice transition and it'll look pretty nice along this fall inspired paper. And I did get this jute twine from the Dollar Tree. Just want to start at the very top there. And all I'm going to do is just start right here. And I'm going to just tuck that under. I'm just going to go around. And I kind of want it close together. Okay, so that's what it should start to look like. And I think that's going to be a really nice transition. Keeping it kind of fall color still. And if you see any space between it, you could just keep moving it up so it's nice and tight. I don't need a lot of Mod Podge on there. It looks like it's sticking pretty good without using a whole lot. This is what it's looking like so far. And this was the other color I was deciding on, so I may end up doing another one with this color on it. I think this will look nice on a kitchen counter as well. I'm just putting a little 
fit right around the bottom to secure that last bit because I want it to meet up right with the paper. Right where the paper starts. So I just want to come all the way around to the edge there. just kind of hides right in there. Okay. And here's what it looks like with the jute twine right around the top. And I think that came out pretty good. Nice fall colors. I'll post some pictures at the end so you can see. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Bye.